Make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. I'm eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested. Who turned the lights on? Carmine off? Falcone? <laughs> <laughs> This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Okay. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. Why did you bring this? This isn't going away. I don't need this right now. It's all so public and messy. Oh, God. Tell me all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget Me the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. Dang. That kind of money taints you. Uh. My money has never corrupted me, and I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Uh, this is sad. Um, working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting, not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. No, he wasn't. I want you to know. I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. Aw. I hope you can forgive me. So sad. Uh, nah, bro. Alfred, you're my dad, man. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Was he? Yet, there it was. Um... If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think... You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Is it point and click time? Okay. This is sad, um, Bruce's parents, or no, his father mainly, was 
a criminal in this universe. That is shocking and sort of hilarious. I don't know why it's funny to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm standing here right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents killer? I told you everything I know. You're an animal. I was just here for a pickup. I swear. You're a bad You're supposed to be a... <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. The possibilities are frightening. I would probably kill him, but Batman might just take him to jail. <laughs> I take him to jail. Just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Yeah. Oh, and the reason I say his father being a thug is funny only is because there's this plethora of people in actuality in 3D real life that think that you can become a billionaire by just working hard and doing all the right things, bro. Let me be the first to tell you, <clears throat> in the words of the mighty Dave Chappelle, there is no room for for a moral absolutism in Hollywood or in business. Unfortunately, you're going to have to get your hands dirty just a tad bit if you're into that, if you want it that bad, you know what I'm saying? And if you cross the wrong people, shit, nigga, that's how you end up like P. Diddy. R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, I don't know. It's all wrong, man, but it's only funny because people always assume, like, I can work hard and I'll make it. Nah, you might be a thousandaire, but ain't nothing wrong with being a thousandaire, bro. I could live off 300K. Could you live off 300K? Hmm. He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. He was my dad, though. I always wanted to be brave, just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. Bro, I wish my real life memory worked like this, where I could piece together different aspects of a memory and see it. That would be crazy. That would be actually crazy. I would appreciate that a lot. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Oh man. I love my mom too, bro. This is actually really sad. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. But do I really want to know? No, no I don't. This is traumatizing. I, I don't like this. Just give it. Just business. He told me you had it coming. You, you don't have to do this. Dead. Censor all of it. Oh no. This one is graphic. This is how you create a murderer. They are lucky Bruce is not a serial killer. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, you pussy. And you took my mama's jewelry. Nah, bro. All he has to do is pull that trigger. <laughs> no Batman. Bruce, Crazy. Are you Crazy. Right? No, I'm not all right. Stop asking me that. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Whoops. I, I think I killed him. <laughs> That's not good. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Uh, Look, I get that, Hart, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. No. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. This is no. a personal matter, Harvey. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. Doesn't matter. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. I already have. Gentlemen. Mustache. We finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? <laughs> oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. But everything's been a little busy. It was nothing worth mentioning. <laughs> your friend gave us the whole case against Falcone. Oh, <laughs> not worth mentioning, huh? Not really. It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thank you. Thanks, Sergeant. So nice. I don't remember her being that nice in other depictions. You had to put Falcone in the infirmary. Batman practically tore him in half. <laughs> <laughs> now, he's helped us a lot in the past, but if you ask me, he's out of control. Uh, let's talk some shit. Batman is a monster. That freak does more harm for Gotham than good. I'm starting to think you might be right. That isn't the first time either. He nearly ripped a guy's arm off at the ducks. No, I didn't. <laughs> Oh my god. I, I start here and keep breaking until you answer. Give a well, at least someone's getting tough on these guys. I tell you, I'd rather have Falcone in here than out on the street. You weren't there, Harvey. You didn't see it. That dude was fine, man. I broke his arm. I didn't take it with me, Jim. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Damn, mustache talking shit. He could have died, Jim. I didn't kill him. I just broke his arm. You know, I'm just saying. Could have been worse. I'm not Batman. I probably should have defended him. No, don't defend Batman as Bruce. That's not good. Sorry. Just thinking about my choices. <laughs> what up, G? Children of Arkham. How quaint. How wonderful. The hell? Bruce Wayne. You must have some clout. <coughs> My own wife can't get in to see me. You married, bro? Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. It's like a mausoleum in here. You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. Goddamn Batman. <laughs> I haven't took a beat in this bed since before I got made. <coughs> Your father used to sew me up. Better than these cop doctors. Yeah, that's right. 
Tommy and I were close. Tommy. <laughs> more than friends. More like cousins. Um. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah. So that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two no shit. killings. And they were never forgotten. Why else would I be here, dude? You and me. We're practically family. The worst thing I've heard. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Since I started playing this. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. You gotta explain Damn that. Damn shame you ask me. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Still ain't talking, bitch. Your father. Hill and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Honestly, <sighs> since I put you here, I'm going to help you out. You know, I'm going to help you out. Because <laughs> I didn't have to do to you what I did. I'm going to ease the pain. It's too much, but I shouldn't have did what I did. I'm sorry. Uh, 40 years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. Hey, catch this. Oh, dude. I'll catch you later. He's dropping bodies, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bless it. Oh, dead. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. Still ain't talking. Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Still ain't talking. Say something. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. I may kill you. I think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Say, so, say something else about my mama, bitch. Say it. Say yeah. it. There's a kindness in you. You care about people. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. Hey. But you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. Then who did, so asshole? Who did? Right. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. <gasps> oh, 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 shit. <laughs> oh, shit. They're waiting for you in hell. No, lady, please. The Why? The had to die. Why? In the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Oh, no. man. No! She's just getting to the good part. Oh, gosh. This game is glitching. Oh, no. Shit. I'll say we. <sighs> I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. No. This close. We were this close. Something was on her mouth. I don't. I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. 
just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Uh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. Right, bro. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Uh... I'll just hang here then. Tell me if she says anything. You leaving me I with her? I have to know why she did this. I'm just a CEO, bro. Like, <sighs> hmm. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm going to try and confirm some suspicions of mine. I'm glad she doesn't hear this conversation, Bruce the hell man bro he's just like doing his best to get caught in this universe let's check out her mouth first that's what i saw in the other room her veins still visible beneath her skin yep montoya i'm really sorry this is an invasion of privacy i, I don't want to do this but fresh injection site mm, that doesn't look like blood hmm Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. <laughs> of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Oh, uh -huh. poor lady. Uh... Everything is such a blur. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. Oh, it was real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. It was damn real. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. No, I don't. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone. But I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. Oh, man. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I should have, they were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I, I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution Penguin Hubblepot said something similar I'm so sorry lieutenant I've let you down we stalled Falcone's lawyers for now but they'll be back how is she did she tell you anything uh yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now yeah we gotta tell them the truth I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! Me? Oh. She remembers a voice saying Sorry. something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Yeah, for me it is. If you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Vicky? 
Not the time for a booty call, dog. What are you doing here? I'm busy. My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> Word is there were shots fired. A lady. Near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? If you want, we can have I mean, a baby, but please just. Like, please, just leave me alone. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, don't and be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. Do you want to have a baby? That's the only thing I got to talk about. Word is, you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. One kid, okay? We can have one child together. That's it. And now okay? you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I the only thing I'm trying to fire off, off is something. never mind. Just, yeah. just give me something to. Nah, with. if we ain't talking about making kids, Vicky, I don't even want this. I'll talk to you later, please. My tie it needs to be fixed in the elevator. <sighs> Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. It's very fucking possible that I do. <laughs> I'll see you around. <laughs> you can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me like a parent with a 